we got a good team. Um, and yeah, this is the NFL. You're not you're not blowing people out. You're not you know winning by three four scores every week. You know the margin for error is next to nothing. And um, these uh, these games, you know whatever percent of them come down to one possession at the end. Um, and if you slip up on a few details, this, you know, this is what happens. The Saints leave Nashville singing the blues after a painful loss to the Titans. The Saints went to Tennessee with a 4-1 and record, a road record that is, and without Alvin Kamara who sat out with a knee injury. But the Saints stuck it out and came up short within the final minutes of the game. Deuce McAllister joins us now to break down exactly what happened in the black and gold rewind. Hi Deuce, good morning. Good morning, how you doing? Good, thank you. You know, a lot of penalties again. Are the penalties really, I mean, they need to be cleaned up. Yeah, they definitely need to be cleaned up, and I think that's probably the most disappointing part about it. You know, when you talk about the, the margin of error, the, the ability to be able to go out there and execute and win games, you don't have to play perfect, but you have to at least do it the right way. And, you know, there's just too many opportunities, too many times that in critical situations you made a mistake, and, you know, this team has not been able to overcome it to this point. What do you think about the kicking moves? I mean, obviously the kicker missed two crucial extra points. They put them in that situation at the end of the game where they tried to, you know, had to go for two to mm -hmm. try to win it. Um, do you think that's going to be the first order of business today for Sean Payton, maybe finding a new kicker? I don't know if it's the first order of business, but I think it's a frustrating situation. I mean, because obviously you have a lot of confidence in Brian uh, to be able to go out there and do his job. I mean, and you talk about being able to uh, handle the pressure, handle the, the weather, handle the conditions. And, mm -hmm. you know, not only from a uh, specialty standpoint, but, you know, just a regular position player. And so uh, the Saints have missed seven extra points. Now, that's all not on Johnson as far as those misses are concerned, but it's it did play a factor at the time. You didn't know that it would be that big of a factor, right. but obviously it did play a factor in yesterday's loss. Um, Trevor Simeon, obviously nobody thought that he was going to be the starting quarterback of this team, you know, at this time last year. What do you think about his performance? I mean, he's certainly not the reason that they've been losing. Yeah, I think it's uh, been up and down, you know, and that's the one thing you want to be uh, ascending up as far as an individual is concerned, even if it's just a small amount each time. You know, you go back, you look, I thought he gave his guys an opportunity to make some plays, you know, but the one thing that 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 is concerned you know you haven't started well in the first quarter you've been able to come back late in games you know offensively they got to figure out a way to get some rhythm going and then the biggest thing if you're Trevor you can't take the sacks that you took right before the half mm -hmm. you know that's one of the things as a player you've got to know the situation know the down and distance etc you know and give your team a chance but overall I think he's played okay and I don't I can't say that he has been the reason that they have lost the last two particular games you know, it's always hard when Alvin Kamara's not healthy, not playing. Have you heard anything on that front when he might be back? Hopefully they can get him back this week. You know, it was a situation where uh, if this was a playoff game, I feel pretty sure and confident that he would have been playing. But knowing that you still have a long season, yesterday was kind of the halfway point. I think they want to get him as close to 100% as possible. Finally, you held the Saints all-time rushing record for over a decade, Deuce. How did it feel yesterday watching Mark Ingram surpass that record? Well, I was really proud of Mark and, you know, the, the work that he has been able to put in, the things that he has done to put himself in that position, you know, and just to be able to congratulate Mark. I think it's one an honor that, you know, he will hold for a while and, you know, he's worked hard for it. He's battled adversity. And so he and his offensive linemen, I think that they've done a great job. So congratulations. Was it bittersweet, though? I mean, I'm sure it was bittersweet for you to be up there watching that yeah well to, to be able to watch it and to know you know the work that you put in to be yeah. able to do it so it was pretty special you know just to be able to call it and you know see the work and I know you know from a personal level as well as you know obviously calling and following his career so it was, it, it was, it was exciting it was good to see the only thing that you wish it was in a, in a victory yeah well Deuce McAllister thank you for joining us this thank morning you. I know you had a late night so we appreciate you getting up early